is the Eclectic Garden Stamp Set and Die Bundle, and it definitely lives up to its name. Even though when I first opened it, I thought it said Electric Garden, and so that's what I keep calling it. But both the stamps and the dies can be used on their own, or they can be paired with this set to make really fun little background pieces for them. So there are hummingbirds, and then there are flowers. And so let's just go ahead and take a look at what this one does. So this is the diagram for the hummingbird. As you can see, there are a lot of pieces here. So what I did is I made some complete ones so you can see what they look like, and then I cut out the parts to show you exactly which one goes with which hummingbird. However, there will be this diagram for you to download on the Concord and Ninth website for this set, which basically does the same thing. So you always want to start with a body, and on these are in mushroom cardstock, but in the cards that I'm going to show you, I started with a black body so that his beak and his eyes were black. And then you layer over it with this one. Let's just talk about this one right here. This is an ocean side, and that's the top piece. And then I did a, a parsley for his neck. I did a white body, which is this one, and then I just did the tail again in the ocean side so that it just uh, kept the continuity of the color. So this is your diagram for how to build your hummingbirds. Now the flowers, this just cuts out in one flower and stem, and you can cut it again and put the blooms on top of it. Or there is this set of blooms that are a little bit more dimensional and have little centers in them, and I'll show you how that works. So let's take a look at a couple of samples. So this one is oh so sweet, so I did the hummingbirds, in parsley, nope, clover, dove, and grapefruit. I'm getting there. And then I did the background in dove, which is this wooden one right here. So for this one, I just layered a couple of darker green leaves over the lighter green leaves so that it matched to the birds. I put the centers, I just took a marker, I think this was even just a Sharpie marker, and just did the centers, and then put the oh so sweet sentiment on it. Now this banner piece right here is made to fit all of these sentiments so that you, oh look, there's a heart, it must be a Concord and Ninth die, or set, um, so that you can put all your little words in here. Let me just give you a hint. You can't see through this, so cut this out first and then stamp your words and you'll be successful every time. This next one I did on wheat cardstock, and I used pretty much all of the cardstocks in the collection. If you haven't tried Concord Ninth cardstocks, they are such high quality and gorgeous colors. I really strongly suggest you do. And then I just put the flowers and the hummingbird on in black as a silhouette, and then emboss the Hello Friend. And then this one, I used the Banner Builder bundle for the words and I put the little tails on this so I just had two pieces and then the little tails. I used the square background from here and then I did another hummingbird and then for this one I used the little uh, pieces that cut out on their own. This one that's a little bit more dimensional so it has the centers that show through. It has this little space that leaves the bottom of the flower and it just makes them a little bit more pretty. So that is the Eclectic Garden Stamp Set and Die Bundle.